All right, uh, here we go. This is my gonna be my first free CAD tutorial. It's gonna be a nice, simple tutorial. I'm gonna draw a square and uh, dimension it and extrude it, and that'll be it. Nothing crazy. Um, basically, what I want to do right now is start my uh, part design workbench. So we can either choose this uh, start a new project part design one right here but uh, my understanding is from some of the people that have Macs that this screen doesn't come up in FreeCAD so you can also choose it from here at the, the workbench selector so I can click on part design and you notice the nothing changed here this we're still on the start screen so I'm gonna click new part and that brings up a new part and uh, I'm actually going to close out the start page here because sometimes when you select stuff, it pops back to there. Actually, I'll leave it open so you can see what happens. Anyways, uh, I'm going to click on Create Sketch over here in the Task pane. And I could also choose it up here on the workbench. So click on uh, Create Sketch. I'm going to select the XY plane. Hit OK. Uh, you also have X, Z, Y, Z and you can reverse the direction of your offset if you chose to offset your plane. All right, that's going to open that up. <clears throat> and now you see we have like a grid paper. We can choose the size of our grid. Drop it down to one millimeter, five millimeters. Obviously, if you're using imperial units, uh, it would be in imperial units and you can set it however you want. So I'm going to turn on grid snap. And at this point, I want to draw a rectangle. I also have auto constraints on, so when I draw this rectangle, it's going to throw constraints on it automatically. So you can see up here, there's several different options for geometry to, for you to construct. I'm going to select a rectangle. And you can see the blue numbers here indicating where I'm at in my grid. So it looks like the actual snap is closer to... Uh, a point 0.1 so I'm gonna, I got it on zero, 0.0 I'm going to select that and now I can drag out a rectangle now all I did was a single select for that point and it's still letting me drag it wherever so once you decide get in the general vicinity of where you want your uh, second coordinate click again and it'll drop a square or a rectangle depending on how you drew it out. So at this point you can see there's four constraint symbols dropped onto here. You have uh, vertical constraints on those two lines and horizontals on those two lines automatically in there for you. So now I want to uh, go ahead and dimension the rectangle and extrude it out. So in order to dimension this it doesn't work exactly the same as some other solid modeling programs. I won't mention any names. But uh, I'll go ahead and click on this line. And you'll see the constraint bar here lit up. If I uh, unselect this line, it's grayed out. So in order to apply a constraint to anything, you need to make sure you have something selected. So I'm going to go back and select this line again and now all the constraints are lit up and uh, this is where it gets kind of strange if I select this uh, vertical you can see it did like it should and I want to remove that I'm going to delete that constraint highlight it hit delete I'm going to try this line again and I'm going to click on a horizontal constraint and now there you go, 55 millimeters is what it's at right now. So I want to give it a height this way, or a length. Click on that, and hit that. Now I have 30 millimeters. So if I wanted to change this to 70, I just double click on the dimension. You can also drag and move it anywhere you want. Change that to 75. Hit OK. There you go, it, it moved. And it moved to 75 millimeters. And I can do the same thing here, 35 by double clicking on it. 
But you can see the sketch is still not constrained. I can move it wherever I want to. I set it on zero zero. So right now that point is on zero zero and everything else is still floating. Ooh. See I accidentally clicked the lock constraint there and now you can see the sketch is fully constrained and uh, basically what it did is it threw two constraints on there. You can see that 75 is my first constraint and you can double click there and modify it and the 35 is right there you can double click and modify it but it basically did a horizontal and vertical constraint to fix it at zero zero the corner of that part so anyways now that it's fully constrained we're gonna hit close and you'll see pad pocket and revolution pop up and that's what we're gonna wanna do with this at this point is we wanna click on pad to extrude it you can also choose that here on the drop down menu at the top on the workbench so there's pad, pocket, revolution, fillet, and chamfer. So I'm going to highlight that, hit pad, and you can see that it has brought this part up. And right now I am having some te technical difficulty. click on isometric view right there and I can choose how far or how high I want to extrude this part and you can flip that dimension right there that concludes my simple square extrusion in FreeCAD thank you